In this time of crisis, I'm certain that all of us are missing the things that we used to do. To go to different places and explore. Okay. to do some crazy stuff that we couldn't imagine would happen. To meet your relatives and friends while celebrating. Go to public places and get our basic needs. To eat out with our family or loved ones. Celebrate your life with him. Or to do the things that you're passionate about. and a lot more. But in this video, I wanted to highlight us as students. Let me start you by sharing some memories we had because we miss each other as well. During this quarantine period, we did a lot of tasks from our professors. And one of those is to create our own version of TED Talks. It could be anything related within our society or personal experience. Good morning. As I step up on the stage, I just have one question in my mind. Is there anyone of you here having the fear or cannot speak Tagalog very well? Well, as expected, your answer is no simply because you guys are all from here and it is the language you are using ever since the day you learned how to speak. But would you believe me if I tell you that there's a lot of people who are afraid or I would say having a hard time in speaking Tagalog? Yes, there are. And they are from the provinces of Visayas and Mindanao. But to tell you a very short and inspiring story, there was one girl who dreamed of going to Manila and worked from there. But this girl could hardly speak Tagalog. All she knows is Bisaya, Waray Waray, and English. Yes, you heard it right. She can speak English. Well, may not that excellent, but at least she can. So despite of all the fear and being half-hearted, she followed her dreams. She went to Manila and applied for a job. Well, it is very hard for her to make friends as she is very hesitant to speak Tagalog. For there are some instance that people would laugh at her the way she speaks. She has this Visayas accent which is not really good to listen to. She always stutters and above all, 
she is a very shy type of person. Well, then again, she can speak English. But of course, she cannot use English all the time. It might just lead to people having a bad impression about her. So day by day, little by little, she tried her best to learn the language. And that is through practice and consistent practice. According to her, it is never easy. But as long as you have the determination, you have the drive and your willingness to learn is there, you can never go wrong. Nothing is impossible. It will just take one single step to begin a new journey. So moving forward to today, that girl from the province of Leyte, the Wariwari girl is now a sales account manager in a BPO industry, and she is working as a freelancer, handling sets of people, doing client meetings, and of course, stands as an inspiration to those who are in doubt about their capabilities. And before I forgot, she's also back in school, taking up Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Marketing. I understand that taking a step outside of your comfort zone can be scary. Yes, it is. But with a little bit of confidence, courage, and taking one step at a time, it can lead you to a very beautiful journey. Amazing things can happen. So go ahead, take that first beautiful step, and I'll see you on top of the pyramid. Well, in 10 minutes now, I will be having my weekly client meeting with my bosses from United States and Australia. I am Mary Grace Alcide Hinko from BSBA 1A, and I am proud to introduce to you the girl who fearlessly stepped up out of her comfort zone as well as truly. Thank you very much. Did you ever feel humiliated in front of the class because you couldn't converse in English? How many times did you fail in an interview when applying for a job due to your grammar lapses? Did you ever experience losing confidence when debating? Those are some scenarios that give us the courage and foundation to strive harder and to achieve what we want in life. Let me take you back from where I was when picking up the broken pieces that I had, or also known as my fingers. Growing up, I used to go to the same school with my sister. Well, she was a year ahead of me, and it was during our grade school and high school level specifically. And she was a consistent honor student. So our teacher got to know me when they knew that my last name is Javier because apparently my sister and I have the same last names. Since then, the expectations were so high because they wanted me to be on the same level of my sister as we go along. But they get nothing and just disappointments because I've never really excelled on academic subjects back then. From that moment, I've promised to myself that I will work even harder up to the best of my ability when entering college. And yes, I was right. All the hard work pays off. As I graduated in college with a Diploma of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management, and that was a two-year course. But it didn't end from there because I was also awarded with an Academic Excellence Awardee. I genuinely believe that we should never ever stop learning and improving our craft. As a person who graduated in the field of hospitality industry, such as hotels, restaurants, and so on and so forth, I have come to realize how important it is to communicate in English. Most especially that I will be dealing with different customers that are also well educated. I've got my first job in one of the five star country clubs. And indeed, it's nerve-wracking. I have never experienced the feeling of facing these people with high profile. To name a few, those are actors from show business, owners from different companies, and of course, uh, managers from multiple departments that I work with. But I take that event by feeding my mind of only positive thoughts. That I can be one of them by having self-confidence to talk to people will develop my communication skills. Furthermore, I was fortunate enough to work and live in Dubai, United Arab Emirates at the age of 20. I was able to practice my profession and I was given a chance to work in different properties of hotels, restaurants, and residentials. And as the day progresses, it definitely enhances my English. 
as it's the only way to communicate to people with different nationalities. And it all boils down that English language is truly a universal language. As Sarah Caldwell says, learn everything you can, anytime you can, from anyone you can. There will come a time when you will be grateful you did. Fast forward, I have left Dubai after almost seven years. And this has changed me in a great way. All the learnings that I have acquired through my experiences open up so much opportunities. And what are the key ingredients? Again, it is a combination of perseverance, self-confidence, and skill set to communicate. This is Dunhill Javier from BSBA 1A, and I will be leaving with this saying from Rita Mae Brown, that language is a roadmap of a culture. It tells you where its people come from and where they go. Thank you.